Now matrices are really useful. We've seen how they connect in with graph transformations, but they can also help us solve linear simultaneous equations. So we could use matrices to actually solve this pair of simultaneous equations. And that's not immediately obvious at first. And you might also be going, well, why, why would I want to do that? Because, I mean, at GCSE, you've learned uh, the elimination method, the substitution method. Um, you could just solve these algebraically. You've also got a Cassia class with calculator that you can type these cal uh, equations in and solve them directly. So why would I need matrices? Well, the point is that we're starting off here. And then if you were then to want to solve um, three simultaneous equations with three unknowns, or four simultaneous equations with four unknowns, and so on, you could use the same methodology using matrices to solve those rather than algebraically. Because by the time you get beyond two, then algebraically it becomes, you get really bogged down in the algebra. Okay, so what I'm going to introduce here is why this is going to work and how it's going to work. So. The first thing to understand is that I'm able to write this set of equations as the left-hand side being a matrix, so 3x plus 4y and 2x minus 5y. So a matrix with two rows and one column, and the right-hand side being 8, 13. So you've got this top row, which is one of the equations, and the bottom row is another of the equations. Now this matrix here... What you can then do is you can say to yourself, well, I could have a matrix of the coefficients 3, 4, 2, negative 5, and multiply that with x, y, and I would get the same thing. Now, why is that the case? Well, when you multiply matrices, you do the row by the column. 3, 4, multiplying with x, y, 3 lots of x, plus 4 lots of y. 2 minus 5, multiply with xy, 2 lots of x, take away 5 lots of y. So these two lines are equivalent. So the next thing is you're looking at that saying, right, OK, well, I need to get xy by itself. I need to unpick it, unravel it. So the way to unravel a matrix is to multiply it by its inverse. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by this matrix's inverse. So, we're going to apply the inverse matrix to the left-hand side. So, 3, 4, 2, negative 5, x, y. And we're going to apply it to the right-hand side as well. Okay. Now, on the left-hand side... Conveniently, we've got a matrix multiplied by its inverse. We know that's going to be the identity matrix. So this is identity matrix. So we're just left with the x, y. Now, we can use our calculator to find the inverse matrix. Now, you could do, that, do this by hand, but good practice at this point um, to do it on our calculator as well. Right, so on the Casio class width, we're going to go to menu and then number four. Uh, we're going to define matrix A, number one. Uh, two rows, two columns, so three, four, two, and negative five. Uh, then we're going to go to option, matrix calculation, choose matrix A by going back into option, and then press the X minus one button, X to the minus one button, and you should get the matrix 5 over 23, uh, 4 over 23, well, we've got 2 over 23, and minus 3 over 23. So that's the inverse matrix there, so that's that one. And we're multiplying that with 8, 13. OK, so I'm going to now define the second matrix, B. Um, oh, I need to define it first. Uh, matrix B, uh, with two rows and one column, 8, 13. Go back into the calculator, choose matrix A, do that to the minus 1, and times that by matrix B. And we get 4, negative 1. So that means that the X is 4, 
and the y is negative 1. And there we have the simultaneous equation solved. Now it looked like a lot of work, okay? But it's understanding that if I apply the inverse matrix of the coefficients to the right-hand side matrix, then I can solve the simultaneous equations. And as I said, you could trade this up to 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, and it would still work.